Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video, we're going to have a look at a student and staff guide on how to use OneDrive for saving files, uploading resources, creating new documents, and more. I hope you find this video useful. So here we are in office.com and you'll just need to log in using your regular username and password for the college systems. And this is typically your student email address and your staff email address. From here, you're going to click on the waffle menu and choose OneDrive. And this is where you can store all your files inside of OneDrive and it is cloud storage. On the left, you'll see various options, such as recent files you've opened, shared files that you are collaborating on with other people, as well as your recycle bin in case you've accidentally deleted a file and want to get it back. Let's just go to My Files. Here you'll see some options at the top. For example, it allows you to create a new folder and documents. Here I'm creating a new folder so that I can store files inside of it, and this keeps things nice and neat. What you can do is select any file, click move, and then you can select any folder that you have created to move that file into. There is other ways, we'll show you them in a little bit. Once you've done this, you'll see that that's actually moved and confirmed, and when you go into the folder, you'll see the file. Let's have a look at something else. So we're going to click new, and this time we're going to create a new Word document. And you can do the same with PowerPoint as well. Uh, this allows you then to create documents directly inside of OneDrive and you can title it at the top to save it. I'm just going to close that off now and you'll see that that Word document and I can edit that Word document, do whatever I want with it and it's automatically saved in OneDrive without needing to use downloaded files. On the top right, you're also able to sort and change the view types of OneDrive. So for example, I can create a list. Now the list is really nice because what it allows you to do is actually select files, um, say for example this one, and you can move and drag these around and folders inside of your OneDrive web browser. So this makes it nice and easy to actually organize your files. You can see here I'm just moving another folder in. Let's have a look at going into some files now. So I'm just navigating my folders and you'll see here, for example, I've got a PDF and you can click on this to open it and do more options as well. So I'm going to click on this one, open the file, and here you can see you can actually open up that as well. You can also go into files as well and create new files directly inside of any folder like you normally do. But you can also upload folders as well as well as files. So here I've clicked upload and what I can do is actually upload a folder that or a file that is actually local on my computer. And that will upload that directly into your OneDrive so you don't lose your files. You can also share files by choosing the little share icon. And in here, you get some share settings, which is a better way than sending the file because it means that people can collaborate on that document with you. You can set passwords, etc. A little tip as well is if you have got local files, you can actually select these and just drag them directly onto any folder or file type inside of your OneDrive and they will upload automatically for you rather than you clicking the file and upload. Let's have a look at a few more things as well. So you can actually download OneDrive as well. So here I'm going to click on the download OneDrive and this will actually allow you to use a folder. Now, most college systems will already have this and it will already be installed and you'll see OneDrive in your file explorer. And what you can do with that, just like any regular file folder, is create new files and resources and new folders. But what will happen is that will automatically link to your OneDrive, that is the web browser version. So providing that you have downloaded or have already got downloaded the OneDrive folder, any files that you use inside of the OneDrive locally will sync automatically. And you'll see an example that I'm doing now. This also means that when you edit files, so for example here I've edited a file locally, but I am signed into OneDrive on my local account and on Word, and I can make some adjustments to this file. I can close this as it will automatically save. And then when I actually access that file from the web browser version of OneDrive, those changes will sync across and vice versa. So you can use the OneDrive app, which is actually available if at college it automatically signs in. If you're using a personal device, download it and sign in. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you.